it's like telling your quarterback, we don't have helmet, a helmet for you. We don't have pads, uh, but get out there on the field and just try not to get sacked. We see our numbers are continuing to tick up in this state. We see that our deaths are rising. We have some of the highest asthma rates in the country right here in Atlanta. I don't know how you get a haircut and keep a safe distance from someone who's cutting your bangs. It just doesn't make sense to me. We will allow gyms, fitness centers, bowling alleys, body art studios, barbers, cosmetologists, hair designers, nail care artists, estheticians, their respective schools, and massage therapists to reopen their doors this Friday, April the 24th. We were all caught off guard and quite frankly surprised that the governor moved as swiftly as he did to open the state back up. The three T's are important. That's testing, contact tracing, and treatment. Uh, none of which were able to do successfully and brought numbers in the great state of Georgia. My mom owned a hair salon for over 25 years, so I understand the economic pull on this. This would have been devastating to my family for her to have to shut down her business for weeks on end. But you have to live to be able to fight another day. If we're not alive on the other side of it, then there won't be a recovery to be had. Clearly, these kind of businesses you mentioned are high contact environments. They're exactly the kind of places that we need to have maintained closure for the moment. All the health experts are telling us that we need a couple of weeks of decline in new cases, and we certainly need a great ramp up in testing. Only 1% of Georgians have been tested at this point. 84,000 tests have been conducted in the state of Georgia. We're just not there. We're simply not ready to reopen. I mean, we have 62 people on ventilators. I think it's rather imprudent to set dates as opposed to goals. I mean, even the White House says we're going to do this in phases. Our metro area has about 6 million people, more than half the population in the entire state, but we have less than half of the people who have tested positive. Where are our hot spots? Our hot spots are in areas like Bibb County around Macon that didn't shut down. When we open up houses of worship, we have to think about Albany, Georgia, which has had one of the worst outbreaks in the country. That by and large came from two funerals. People here in Athens have been fantastic about taking care of themselves and taking care of one another. And uh, I'm exhorting everybody in this community to continue to shelter in place. Do not reopen at this point. It's not the time to do it. It's like telling your quarterback, we don't have helmet, a helmet for you. We don't have pads. Uh, but get out there on the field and just try not to get sacked. Whether or not I have the legal authority to supersede the order from the governor, I still have my voice and I will continue to use my voice to encourage people to exercise common sense, listen to the science and stay home. We are not out of the woods. <laughs>